Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to take a look at the FTP service that's built into OS X Server. Now FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol and it's a way to upload files to a server. So if you're in a remote location, you want to get your files up to a server that may be in another location, this gives you a way to take the files from your uh, current computer and get them up on the server. Uh, it's an older technology uh, that's been used a lot for updating websites and things like that. Uh, one thing about FTP is that it is not a uh, an encrypted service. So in other words, uh, there's not uh, encryption going back and forth that protects the uploading of those files, so it's a little bit more in the open. So if you have very sensitive files that are uh, need to be secure, you don't want to use FTP because the security isn't there for it. Uh, now you could use something called SFTP, and that's a, a secure shell uh, file transfer protocol, which uses SSH to make that happen. If you wanted to do that, you would need to have SSH live. And so you just come over here to Server, and you come into your settings, and you'd make sure that this box right here is checked, and that would turn on SSH. Now again, I would only use this if you really wanted to use an FTP type of a setup and you wanted it to be secure and needed it to be secure. That's the only time I would use this. Otherwise, I wouldn't bother turning it on. But if that is something you want to do, you would use this. Now the same um, setup and the same way to access it uh, works for S FTP as FTP. So as I show you how to access uh, the FTP service, you would use a similar thing, only you would just be using SFTP instead. Uh, but wanted to show you how you could set that up. So let's go ahead and go back into FTP here. So let's go ahead and take a uh, look at the services before we set this up. Again, the status is offline because we haven't turned it on yet. You can see here with permissions, we can edit the permissions. You can see we've got a group of administrators here that have access, and we've got John Doe. So those are the only two people that have access. I could add somebody by clicking the plus or minus to get rid of them. Uh, I can change this from all, only some users to all users if I wanted everybody to have access. But this gives me a good way to kind of lock it down a little bit. And then I can say when connecting from, and I can say private networks, all networks, or only some networks. And then I could just specify, you know, maybe just this Mac. Or I could create uh, a new network if I wanted to do that. So in this case, I'm just going to leave it for all networks, but I wanted to show you um, how that works. So let's go ahead and just say OK and leave that alone. You can see there's our one user, one group, and then all networks. So it does show you what the permissions are right there at a glance. Now, the FTP share in OS X Server allows you to share to one folder. And so right now we've got the website's root folder. If you want to see where that's located, you just click on this View Files, and it'll take you right to where the website uh, folder is. There it is right there. And so that's where I'd be uploading my content is into that particular uh, folder. Now, if I wanted to, I could change that to another folder. Uh, if I just come back into FTP, uh, I could come in here, and with this dropdown, I could just choose where I want to have my uh, FTP access, where I want that to go. And so let's just choose, let's just say the Movies folder here, just, just for, for the heck of it. And you can see automatically it picks up my folder permissions that I have on that particular folder. They show up. I've got Spotlight and then myself and staff and everyone else. And so there's a lot of uh, openness to this particular file. So I may want to change some of those settings. Now, I can change them here. Or if I want to, I can click on Edit the SharePoint, and it's going to take me right into file sharing and right into uh, the file sharing screen here where I can edit some of these permissions if I'd like to. And so in this case, I'd like to say everybody else have no access. Let's turn that off. And uh, the staff is the primary group, so that would include myself and then everybody else, right? So all of the other accounts that I've got set up, it would give them read and write access. And I could limit that to whatever I want. If I want to just read only or write only or whatever I want to do, I can do that. And then I can check whether this is guest accessible or not. So I'm just, I think I'm just going to turn that off so it's not guest accessible anymore. And we're going, to make, uh, we're going to make it accessible however you want here. I'll just leave those alone, but you can specify those. So I'm going to say OK. And it's going to write those new permissions. And so it takes us back into file sharing. So let's go into FTP now. And you can see that it's picked up my change there. I notice now it says no access there for everyone else. So it's already set that up. At any time, I can go in and view the files. Same type of thing. It'll take me right into the server storage tab and show me what files I've got in there. Okay, now before we uh, take a look at how to connect to this share, 
Um, it depends on how you want to do that. If you just want to connect on your local network, you're fine. Everything's good and you're all set. Uh, but if you did want to connect remotely, uh, you would have to open the ports to make FTP work. FTP is one of those services that does not automatically uh, set the ports on the router for you when you turn the service on. So, uh, for instance, if I come up here to Office, you'll notice I don't see FTP on here as already set because it doesn't want to make that assumption that you want that. So instead, I'd come in here, I could hit the plus. Notice there's not a drop down for that, so I'd have to come to other. And then I would just type in here uh, FTP. And then you're going to want to do uh, the TCP ports 20 and 21 to make that happen. And then you would add that, and that would open those ports to make FTP work remotely. And so that's how you would set that up. If you're just doing it on your local network, you don't need to add those ports. I'm just going to cancel because I'm not going to add them myself. But just wanted to show you how those work. Let's go ahead and just cancel that. But you do need those ports open if you're planning on accessing it remotely. Okay, so now that we've got all this set up, we've got our FTP service up and running. Uh, let's go ahead and test it out. And I'm going to show you a couple of ways to connect to, that, uh, to the FTP server. Okay, so here we are over in a terminal shell window, and so I'm going to show you how to use FTP using the terminal. I've got a finder window open here as well because here's the movies uh, folder that we talked about uh, that we have connected to our FTP. Now inside the movies folder, I've got this photo right here, .jpg. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this uh, folder using FTP over to my root folder over here. Okay, so I'm just going to make that move happen just to show you how this works. You can do this from a remote server as well and all of that. So to get into FTP here, I would type in FTP and then your server's name. Just like that, you hit enter. And it's going to ask you for your username. And this would be your short name. Hit return and then it's going to ask you for your password. Okay, so I just put that in there even though it didn't move. And so now it says I'm connected. You can see I've got that FTP prompt there. Now, to uh, get something from the server, let's say I want to get it and download it, and that's what I want to do is move that into that shared folder there. Uh, I'm going to uh, move it into the uh, main uh, root there. I'm going to type in uh, get, and then I'm going to type the photo's name, okay, or so the, the file name that I'm trying to get. See, there's the file name. I'm going to hit return, and you can see it's starting to download it, and notice that it's added it there on that other sidebar, okay, because that's where it defaults to. Now, I didn't specify a path or anything, and so that's why it went there. But that's kind of how that would work and what that would look like if you were using your uh, FTP service uh, via a terminal window. Okay, so very simple. Uh, there's a bunch of other uh, commands uh, that you can use as well uh, for uh, FTP. Um, but that just gives you an idea of how this works. So now that you've seen that, you've seen this a uh, little bit more technical way, let me just show you how to use a third-party application uh, to get FTP access. Okay, so here we are over on an FTP application. Uh, this particular one is called Forklift. Uh, there's a bunch of different ones out there. Uh, you know, there's stuff like um, Transmit and different applications like that. And they all work fairly similarly, maybe just a little different interface. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and connect uh, to our FTP server. Now the difference in using these applications is that it's a little bit more drag and drop in terms of moving things around. And so it makes it a little bit easier to do. So let's go in here. We're going to click this little connect area here. And this is where we would set up our server protocol. Uh, you'll notice here for uh, FTP, I can choose these different versions. There's SFTP like I talked to you about before. You could definitely use that to connect. Uh, and in a lot of these applications, notice you can connect by AFP or SMB as well, which we talked about when we talked about file sharing and connecting to your remote shares and all of that. So and there's even WebDAV here as well. So it's got all these different protocols you can use to connect. So we're going to leave it on FTP. You put in your server's name, you put in a username, and then you put in a password. Let me go ahead and put that in here for John Doe. Okay, now that I've got that in there, I'll go ahead and hit connect. And so what it's done is it's connected to my server. Okay, so now I'm connected to my FTP server. And you can see I'm right in that movies folder. It takes me right there. Now, from this point forward, all I've got to do if I want to move a file around is just to move it. So I can drag uh, this file. I can take this file here and uh, move it down to the desktop. And so what it's done is it's actually put that particular file here on my desktop. and kind of lay it right beside so you can kind of see it there. 
And so that's how this works. So again, very simple. And these applications are a lot easier way to work with it because you can do this uploading and downloading of things uh, back and forth to make it really easy for you to move your files around using the FTP service. So that's all I have for this week on uh, FTP. Hopefully that helps you get the service set up and running. Like I said, it's a very basic service. Uh, if you've got security concerns, then you probably do not want to use this, but it is uh, built into OS X Server as something that can be used if you need to get access to it. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac. If you're interested in help in setting up your own server, feel free to contact me at todd at toddoltoff.com.